Hi, my name is Walt Bednarz with Design Point Solutions, and in this video, what I'm going to go through is how you can manage your change process using Enterprise PDM. And along the way, we're going to show you how you can manage your, your markups and use workflows to manage the states of the, of the change uh, process. So we'll start by generating a, uh, a change request. And this change request, um, you can see here, this card that comes with it, it's, uh, it's going to guide me through the process with the instructions on here and then on this tab I can see my data for my PCR. This is fully customizable information. So in this case here, um, uh, what I want to fill into my customized card is a description. And my description will be thicken base and uh, we'll say thicken as stated in markup. And what we'll do is we'll open the file as we do this as well. It's just a Word document that we're using here. And this information is tied to that document. So you can see it generated a uh, the PCR number for us. There can be some other information in here as well. And you can add additional details along the way. Once again, it's a, it's a Word document. So um, it's fully customized to what your needs are. So uh, inside that folder, I can add additional files. Um, there's my PCR document that I created. If I want to attach my document to this, I can just go in there and say, let's just copy that. And this is the document that's going to wind up being changed later. So I'm just going to say paste as reference. And now I have some association there. So it, it helps me with cross navigation later on. All right. so let's make that markup for this as well. So using uh, uh, using Enter Enterprise PDM, we, we have um, uh, eDrawings Professional with Enterprise PDM. So now I can view my file in here and use my markup tools to capture uh, the details of my markup, so, uh, or the details of my change. So I'm just going to go in here and say, let's, let's add a note to this and say, Thicken to three three quarter inch. There's my markup. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that document, and we're going to put that in our our markup folder. And when we do this, EPDM is going to let us know uh, that we can fill in some additional in information on this as well. So we can capture that that same information we did before. And the great thing about this, if you were just generating a markup without using your PCR, here you have this independent document with its own details. So thicken base, uh, thicken as shown in this document. This is great for creating clarity for uh, the person reviewing the document. And ask me if I want to open up that folder that it's placed in. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll see here. Uh, we just generated this markup and you can see some others here in different formats but now I open this up and we see my markups here listed I can see thicken to three quarter inch so really creates a lot of clarity for the person who has to make the change once again making this easy to navigate we can just tie all this together so if I if I just tie it together with a paste a copy and paste uh, it gives me that link between the documents and now we see here we have the markups the original file so it makes it very easy for somebody to determine what they have to do so this document our PCR can be routed with workflows so I can say request for review or approve PCR since I'm doing this as a manager I'm going to approve it you can see here we can put in some comments you know make changes as required uh, this could be automatic this will automatically notify an engineer to make the change I'll put in my password uh, to approve that uh, uh, that um, state change on the document so now that's moved into that state and we have tools here uh, to allow you to search um, that information as well I have a favorite set up here so I can see all the initiated PCRs if I wanted to. So I can see here ones that are still in the initial phases of development. Um, so a great way to organize this data. Now let's take a look at the markup, uh, other markup processes as well. We saw there initially a markup using e-drawings, but in some cases we might do our markups on the shop floor with uh, 
just taking a, a, a picture of it, we get a digital format of that and we can put that into our vault and still use our serialized uh, information. Um, so giving it our our part numbering scheme. Um, so this example here, I have a scanned markup. This was just taken with a, a cell phone with a scanning uh, app that allowed me to get it into the form of a paper size and now I can just drag this into my vault once again, uh, I can put in my description. It's prompting me automatically to fill in details that are critical. So thicken base, uh, thicken as marked up in document. Ask me if I want to open up the folder, but since it's dropping, I'm dropping it right there. Uh, I can see this. Um, uh, I can just drop it right in there and just open up that folder right there. So let's go ahead and uh, view that file. Uh, so if we view it, there we can see the, the details of it thickened to 075 inches in the scanned view. I can show that full screen if I want to uh, to get a better look at it. So um, working with other file types as well. And here's one from a PDF that maybe we got from a partner who put notes in there. We're going to say add uh, uh, mounting holes. Add holes in corners. And that was inside the, the document. Um, if we open that up, we'll see there's a note add mounting holes in each corner. So this makes it very easy to track our information, manage our our, our markups and our, our change process using EPDM's uh, functionality of templates, workflows, notifications, and several other components. Uh, and that's the change management process with Enterprise PDM.